The 3-in-1 Smart Car and IoT Learning Kit from SunFounder is a hands-on, all-included electronics kit that is perfect for anyone who wants to learn how to master the Arduino. The kit comes with an Arduino, 22 different sensors and modules, breadboards, jumper wires, and everything else you need to build a bunch of fun and interesting projects. Learn about robotics by building a remote-controlled smart car that can be controlled with an infrared remote controller. Or drive on its own and avoid obstacles or fall on a line. Learn about the Internet of Things with a project that lets you monitor the temperature, humidity, and light level of a room from an app on your smartphone. And build a plant monitor that tracks the temperature, humidity, light intensity, and soil moisture and displays it on your smartphone so you can keep your plants watered remotely. It's a super cool kit and I had lots of fun building all the projects in it. So click the link in the description below to order the kit from SunFounder. The Arduino is an electronics prototyping platform that lets you build fun and useful projects, learn about electronics, and quickly test ideas. There are lots of prototyping platforms out there, but the Arduino is by far the most popular. There are thousands of online tutorials that show you how to build all kinds of cool things with the Arduino. It has a super helpful community of experts that are ready to provide support if you need it. So what can you do with an Arduino? The Arduino takes electrical inputs, like the press of a button or a reading from a sensor, and creates electrical outputs, like displaying data on an LCD, starting a motor, or sending data to the web. The Arduino is perfect for controlling things like LEDs, motors, and relays. There are hundreds of different sensors you can connect to it to measure things like temperature, humidity, magnetism, and even altitude. There's a lot more you can do with the Arduino, which you'll discover as you work through this course. The Arduino is a microcontroller. A microcontroller, or MCU for short, is a simple computer built into a single integrated circuit. Microcontrollers are embedded in many of the common electronic devices we use every day, like cell phones, cars, and household appliances. They're great for controlling other hardware devices. Microcontrollers can be programmed with languages like C or assembly. The programs are stored in the microcontroller's memory and run whenever the microcontroller is turned on. The brains of the Arduino is a microcontroller called the ATmega328. The ATmega328 was originally designed for use in industrial and building automation. Working with the ATmega328 by itself requires knowledge of advanced electrical engineering and programming concepts. But the Arduino makes using the ATmega328 so easy, anyone can use it. You control what the Arduino does by writing programs called sketches. Sketches are written with a mixture of the C and C++ programming languages, along with a few commands that are unique to the Arduino. Sketches are written on your computer in a desktop application called an Integrated Development Environment, or IDE for short. The IDE is basically just a text editor, with some extra features that makes it easier to write and troubleshoot your code. It's a free download that you can install on PC, Mac, or Linux computers. When you're done writing your sketch, the IDE will check your code for mistakes, then upload it to the Arduino. The Arduino connects to your computer with an A to B USB cable. The USB cable provides the power and data connection between your computer and the Arduino. But once the Arduino has a sketch uploaded to it, it can be powered by an AC to DC wall adapter and it will run the sketch without a computer. The wall adapter should have an output of 9 to 12 volts DC and 250 to 500 milliamps with a center positive plug.
Let's get a closer look at the Arduino. The main feature right here is the ATmega328 microcontroller. It's attached to the PCB with a female pin socket, so you can actually remove it if you want to. These rows are general purpose input-output, or GPIO pins. GPIO pins are used to connect external components like sensors and modules to the Arduino. There are a few different kinds of GPIO pins. There are digital pins, numbered 0 to 13, and there are analog pins, labeled A0 to A5. These are the power and ground pins. They can supply 5 volts or 3.3 volts to external devices and circuits. These are the SDA and SCL pins, which are used for I2C communication. These are TX and RX pins for UART communication. These pins with the squiggly lines here are pulse width modulation, or PWM pins. This is the reset button. This restarts the Arduino and makes your sketch start over from the beginning. This is the crystal oscillator. The crystal oscillator lets the Arduino keep track of time and control timing operations like pulse width modulation and serial communication signals. This is a 16 MHz crystal, which means that the Arduino can execute binary instructions at 16 MHz, or 16 million times per second. This area here is the power supply. Here's the power input plug. These are power supply decoupling capacitors. They filter the incoming power supply to reduce voltage spikes that could damage the board. This is the voltage regulator. It steps down the 9 to 12 volt input power to 5 volts, which is the operating voltage of the Arduino. This is the connector for the USB cable. And here is the USB control chip. The USB control chip is an ATmega 16U2 microcontroller. It controls all of the USB communication between your Arduino and your computer. This group of pins right here is the in-circuit serial programming header, or ICSP header, for the USB controller. There are the connections for reflashing the firmware on the ATmega 16U2. And these pins are the ICSP pins for the ATmega328. They're the connections for reflashing the firmware on the ATmega328. This is a surface mounted LED. It's connected to digital pin 13. Whenever pin 13 is in a high voltage state, it will light up. These LEDs, labeled RX and TX, light up when data is being transmitted between the Arduino and your computer. This LED over here is the power LED. It turns on when the Arduino is powered up. Okay, that's it for this video. In the next one, we'll take a look at some of the tools and parts you'll want to have when building projects with the Arduino. SunFounder is my go-to source for sensors, modules, and other parts for the Arduino and Raspberry Pi. They have a huge selection of STEM, robotics, and IoT kits, and lots of useful sensors and modules. Every product has an online tutorial with wiring diagrams and example code. They also offer free shipping on all orders, with no minimum. Give them a try at www.sunfounder.com next time you need to order some parts.